Both the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office and the U.S. Copyright Office made procedural changes in 2022 that will likely help businesses obtain IP protection more efficiently in 2023. For example, the PTO implemented a new administrative process for addressing fraudulent trademark submissions. The PTO can now sanction suspicious trademark filings based on an investigation that is triggered by information from examining attorneys, data analytics, or internal sources. This new process should help protect small entities from exploitation during the filing process and will likely help larger entities avoid trademark trolls. In implementing the Trademark Modernization Act, the PTO shortened the response time for most office actions from six months to three months. This shorter timeline went into effect on December 3rd, 2022, so applicants can expect faster registration of their marks in 2023. The PTO also tested new procedural rules for expungement and re-examination under the Trademark Modernization Act. The new procedures are much less costly than traditional PTO proceedings, so if they continue to run smoothly, businesses can expect to spend less time and money fighting to cancel unused marks in 2023. Meanwhile, the U.S. Copyright Office issued rules that govern the procedure at the Copyright Claims Board, or CCB. The CCB is a new administrative forum for copyright claims, seeking up to $30,000 in damages, and the CCB had at least 150 cases filed in 2022. The rules from the Copyright Office outline how companies can designate agents, how libraries can opt out of CCB proceedings, how law students can represent clients in the CCB, and how the CCB will handle cases referred from a district court. One thing the corporation should note moving forward with the CCB is that although a party can institute proceedings against a business before the CCB, that business can always opt out and choose to litigate in a federal district court instead. Check out additional videos in our 2023 IP Outlook and on the McDermott website. We're examining top trends and decisions in IP law from the past year and sharing what you and your business should look out for in 2023.